so welcome to the series of videos on on a, uh, on process to refund unused amount from the cash advance and fusion expenses uh, this is the third video of this series in the last video we were checking the uh, invoices created for the expense reports so this is the third line with 800 as a as the amount so this will be debited 800 and obviously liability will be zero because debit and credit is telling so there is no liability here now if you review this accounting entry So if this is cash, as I said that in the refund expense type, I have attached the cash account. And uh, this is the advance. And this is the expense. So my accounting is balanced here. That's one. Then how it should be processed, how it should, how, what kind of checks and balances we should keep. The only thing which I find that what manually has to be done that when auditor approves the expense report he should before that employee has to pay the uh, before that employee has to pay the amount so in this case 200 was the uh, refund so he should have he should pay to the bank he should pay to the organization somewhere so the only thing auditor what should see that he should receive a cash cash voucher receipt or whatever some kind of money receipt from the organization that thus we have received this much of amount and that should come to the and that that should come to the auditor and what auditor will do he will verify that okay this amount has come and he can go and attach that as attachment to the expense report also and that's how i think the process would be also uh, seamless and the business in our business and the accounting also will be taken care so that's what I feel that uh, this uh, this is the way it should it can be handled. This is one of the option what I feel. So uh, please do pass your comment if you find some problem in this uh, mapping. I'll wait for your comments. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice time. Bye bye.